Today I want to do a brief video on how I'm currently backing up the data on my SD cards when I'm on the go making YouTube videos. This could also apply to photographers, for example. So oftentimes, it, I'm just trying to find any kind of moment of time during the day when I could actually film something for YouTube. And I'm always searching for good lighting, uh, good uh, background scenes, uh, you name it. And so normally I just have my camera with me, have a couple SD cards, maybe some microphones, for example, and then I also store it in a small little Little bag like this and this has been pretty helpful for me and that's how I, I currently make all my YouTube videos just they're pieced together all over multiple stages throughout multiple days and hopefully they come together as a cohesive unit but I recently ran into a problem with regard to my current system of the data of the SD cards because when I'm on the go filming for example I could be on some location there's a moment of time where the data is not backed up it's just on the camera SD card and I recently ran into a problem with this so I was filming some YouTube videos and I ran out of storage on my SD card. So I took the SD card out of the camera, put it in a bag, and then put a new SD card into the camera and continued filming. And so I just had all that data just on this SD card and it wasn't backed up. Normally when I get home, I'll back it up into my laptop and then I have like an external hard drive like you see here. Actually, I have three different external hard drives. So I back it up to the laptop, back it up to an external hard drive, back that up to another one and another one. After all, we're preppers and uh, one is none, two is one, three is for me, and so on and so forth. But there is that moment of time when I'm on the go filming that it's just on this and I don't have my laptop with me, for example, because this bag's fairly small and I didn't want to carry my laptop with me. So I had to come up with a solution. The problem that I had is at my office, uh, we have a, a new dog within our team that are, we're, it's a dog friendly environment and the dog seems to have an attraction to my EDC bag, which has a lot of different goodies in it. So one day I was going to the bathroom, I came back and the dog had got into my bag. I took it out of here, put it into my the EDC bag to then back up. That was my plan. And it was just in a kind of a zipper pocket that I happened to leave a little bit open. The dog went into it, grabbed the SD card and just completely chewed it up. That's right. It was, uh, so I got back into uh, to my desk and I see the dog just, it was in the case and everything, but he got it into the case and then got the SD card. And it was just a mess. So I'll put the uh, screenshots of what it actually looked like. And if this had all of my, I was actually filming my EDC backpack update video. And so it had a lot of valuable information for me on that SD card. And basically I couldn't put it into my laptop because the card basically needs to be flat like this. You can't just put it all the way in to the laptop. Fortunately, I was able to uh, get all the data off of it using a different method. But it made me realize that I have to figure out an alternative solution for on the go filming. So even though I don't have my laptop with me when I'm on the go filming, I do have another computer, which is my phone. And that's where I wanted to have the data backed up to. So now I just have to figure out how to get the data from here to here. But before even getting to that point, I definitely had to improve the storage case for the SD card. So what I got was a Pelican case that is probably even waterproof. It's a tight seal. You can store multiple SD cards in there. And no longer am I just gonna have the SD cards floating around loose in a bag. It just leads for a disaster. For example, if you have a semi-curious office dog searching through your stuff. So now with the Pelican case, I don't have to worry about the dog actually being able to get into that to get the SD cards. So that part of the solution was resolved. So to get the data off of the original damaged SD card, I got one of these Anchor SD card readers. It's a it connects through USB, and then you could just connect the SD card into this little device. You could also connect a micro SD card into it, and then that's what you connect into your, your computer. So now at this point, I just need to get this USB connection down to a USB micro to be able to insert in my phone. So next, I just picked up a small little adapter cable to change the USB as you see here, into a micro SD. And then at this point, I could use it to connect into the phone itself to use as a file transfer system. Since these videos take up a lot of storage, I decided to increase the storage amount of my device to be able to accommodate for all the additional files getting pushed to it. So I picked up a 128 gig micro SD card to add to the, my smartphone device, and then I could copy the data from the SD card of my camera, which you're watching right now, to this little micro SD card. 
After it's on the micro SD card, at a later point, I could copy the data directly to my laptop, either from my phone or from the original SD card itself. I now have it backed up in two different places. You could also do some data backup with Wi-Fi features on some DSLRs, but I'm not gonna cover that in this video. This is specific to my little dongle setup for backing up the data directly from the SD card to the phone. So after inserting the USB adapter cable to my smartphone, whether that be a USB micro, you could also possibly have a lightning or a USB-C, uh, whatever your choice of device is, then I'm just basically gonna copy the data from the SD card directly to the device itself, and your device should have some kind of file manager that'll allow you to do that. So you could copy or move it right now. I'm currently copying, so then it's uh, stored at two different locations. So I have two backups of the data. So that's all there is to it. I now have a method for on-the-go data backup of my files directly from the camera to an alternative location that doesn't happen to be a laptop. Instead, we're using a smartphone. So, so far this has been working out very well for me. Again, the solution for me was just having an SD card, USB SD card reader, and then having an adapter cable to allow me to connect it to the smartphone device, expanding the memory of my smartphone to be able to handle a large amount of video files on there. And in the meantime, having the SD card stored in a very protective case like a pelican case that a dog or cat or other wild animal can't get into and at that point then I could back it up to the laptop and to some external hard drives for a proper data backup so this solution has been working for me I thought it might be helpful for others so I decided to make a YouTube video of it so leave your comments below in the comments section regarding this video I will provide links to all the items that I'm currently using for my on-the-go data backup for those that are interested so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and see you next time. Thank you.